Hi, I'm Sam Kelly. I'm an artist and educator, and today I'm going to show you an activity to do for Dr. Seuss's One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. You'll need some colored construction paper in guess which colors? Red, blue, white, and green. And you'll need double the green because that's the two fish. Um, you'll also need something to glue it onto. So let's choose another um, contrasting color. I've chosen yellow. You'll need some glue and you'll also need a black marker. So the first fish in that sequence is a white fish. And I've already cut out these hand print shapes. This is um, really going to be the main thing of the project um, for your students. They're going to trace their hands onto the construction paper and they're going to get the chance to cut them out. So, of course, practicing fine motor skills and getting the chance to put their personal mark on their work. So here's our one fish. Let's give him a little face. Maybe some gills. And let's have them practice those words because after all, we are here to learn how to read, right? That's what we're doing with Dr. Seuss, not just looking at pictures as awesome as those pictures may be. So remember, you need twice the amount of green, so make sure you um, trace onto two sheets of green paper. And that might be a little bit tricky for those guys to um, cut out two papers at a time. But you could have them try it. We don't have a lot of room because my hands are, as you might guess, a little bit bigger than the average child's. So we're going to have to squeeze these guys in. They're going to have to get cozy. But you should have no problem on a standard piece of construction paper just fitting um, the child's hands a little bit more neatly. One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. And I think the blue fish was kind of a grumpy one, wasn't he? A little bit mean. So let's give him a frown. And there you go. A fun and easy craft to teach Dr. Seuss's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I'm Sam Kelly. Thanks for joining me.